Okay, so we have uh, Eagle Bank offers a savings account that earns 2.9% compounded quarterly. So this compounded quarterly means that you're going to use A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. It says you have $1,000 to invest, so that's your initial amount. That's the P. It says write a function that models the money in the account after T years. So A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. We already know the 1,000. Parentheses 1 plus R. R is your interest rate. It's 0 0.029 as a decimal over N. And N is the number of times it's compounded a year. So if, since it said quarterly, that's four times a year to the 4T power. So this is the function that we're going to type into Excel. Okay, so now that can be done if I have T is my input and A of T is my output. And I'm going to put the function in here with an equal sign and then a thousand times parentheses 1 plus 0 0.02 2, 9 over 4, close parentheses. Notice I don't need any parentheses within this parentheses because order of operation stands. It knows that it's supposed to divide before it adds, so putting parentheses in here would just clutter it. However, so the mistake a lot of people make, you must use parentheses here because if you don't, it's not going to multiply first. So we need to do 4 times cell a2. So the parentheses here around the um, exponent is very important. If you don't, it's going to raise it to the 4 power and then multiply that whole thing by A2. You want it to multiply 4 times T or A2 and then raise that. Um, use that as the exponent. So use those parentheses. Alright, so now we can answer um, question B. How much money will you have after 10 years? Well, T is year, so we just put 10 in, and that's your answer. And then second question, or part C, says how many years will it take you to have 1700 in the account? So what that is, is that that's using this formula, but we're going to put 17 in, 1700 in as the final amount, and we're going to need to find T. Now in Math 171, you might have use logarithms to do this, but we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to use goal seek in this class. We are not going to take the log of both sides. You have to learn how to use goal seek. So this is what we call an output input answer. I'm giving you the output. You need to go find the input. So this is goal seek. So what I'm going to do is click on this cell here, B3, and I need that to turn to 1700. But I can't just type 1700 in or I'll lose the formula, so I have to goal seek. So you go to data, what if analysis, goal seek, two value 1700 by changing this cell A3. And so it'll search and search until it finds the answer that gives us 1700. So our function is on my paper here. Uh, calculate how much money you'll have after 10 years. That was... Um, $1,335.03, and then it will take, and I always round to the hundredths place unless otherwise stated, 18.36 years until you have $1,700 in the account. Okay, so number two says, Euler Money offers a certificate of deposit that earns 5.1% compounded continuously. So this is going to need a different formula. Talon has... I can move it $10,000 to invest. We need to write a function that models how much the CD is worth after, I should say, T years, and then calculate how much money the CD will be worth after three years and how, much, how many years will it take for the CD to be worth $20,000. So this is going to require a different formula. So you don't use this formula. You use this PERT formula because it said compounded continuously. So we don't the number n has gone to infinity here. Instead of quarterly or daily, it's compounded continuously. So this is the PERT formula. You can only use this PERT formula if it says compounded continuously. If it says compounded quarterly or monthly or daily, then you have to use this formula. Okay, so A equals P, E to the RT. 
P stands for principal. That's the money you start with, so that's 10000 Then you have your E. R is the interest rate, 5.1% means 5.1 over 100. So you move that decimal place two places to the left to turn it into a decimal, and then T. So this is our function. And so now we can use that to get the answer. So I'll have a column with T and A of T. And I'll put the function in under A of T with the equal sign, 10,000 times, parent, um, you don't need a parentheses. And then E is a special function in Excel. You use EXP, if you remember. That stands for exponent, and it's understood that it's E. So you don't need a caret key. You just type in the exponent, which is 0 .015, excuse me, times T, which is cell B16. So no exponent used, uh, caret key used here. This is how you type in an E function. Okay, so question B says, how much money will the CD be worth after three years? You just type in three for three years, and out comes the answer, 11,600. 53 point, and I'm going to see if I can round to the hundredths place. I'm going to make that cell a little bit bigger, sure enough. 0.25. Round to the hundredths place for money. All right, next question. C says, how many years will it take for the CD to be worth 20000 Again, this is an output-input question. This is what we're solving. And if you are in Math 171, you might use logs to solve this. Again, no, we're not going to do that. This is an output. Find the input question, so we're going to goal seek. We need to make this cell B, uh, C17 turn to 20,000. I can't lose the formula, so I have to use goal seek. So I click on that cell, and then data, what if analysis, goal seek, and this column comes up, set cell C17. That's why I clicked on it to begin with, so I don't have to worry about that. Two value 20,000 by changing the T right to the left of it. And it's when I click OK, it's going to search for the answer, and it found it. And so in 13.59 years, the CD will be worth 20000 OK, number three says Double T Finance is offering an account that earns 3.25% compounded monthly. How long will it take? The money in this account to double. So you have to make a decision now. Do I use the A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT formula, or do we use A equals PE to the RT? Well, it says compounded monthly, so that means you have to use this one. You can't use the PERT formula. Okay, so the other thing is, is we're missing something, so I'll have to explain. Double T Finance is offering an amount that earns 3.25% compounded monthly. So I know I have R is 0 0.0325, and I know it's compounded monthly, so N is 12. I don't know T. I'm looking for how long it's going to take the amount to double. So not only do I not have T, I don't have the beginning amount, the principal, and I don't have the ending amount. So here's a little trick. It says that we want this P to double. So if it were 5,000, I want it to, I want to know how long it's going to take to get to 10,000. If it were 10,000, I would want to know how long it takes to get to 20,000. So it what you can do is just pick a number. So well, let's say I had $10. So if I start out with $10 and I want it to double, that means I want it to end up being $20. So that's the trick to that, is you can just pick whatever you want to in here. And then again, you're going to goal seek. Because you're looking for the input. So, this will look like this. So T, A of T. And I'm going to use my formula equals, and I picked 10 times 1 plus 0.0325 divided by 12, close parentheses. You have to use the caret key, and here it is. This is the most common error. People forget the parentheses around the 12 times the T, or B27. If you don't have those parentheses, you will get it wrong. Okay, so you got to remember that you use 10, and we want to know how long it's going to take for this to become 20. 
So I'm going to goal seek this to 20. So data, what if analysis, analysis goal seek C27, that's why I clicked on that cell. Turning, I want to turn that C27 to 20 by changing this T cell. So when I click OK, it's going to find the year that it's going to take to change 10 to 20. Okay, so it's going to take 21.36 years for your money to double. So this is something, always something interesting that I think um, I like to think about. What if I had, instead of 10 bucks, it's going to take 21.36 years for 10 bucks to become 20 bucks. What if I had $10,000? And if I goal seek that to 20,000, see, it's going to be the same thing. What if I had a million dollars? It's going to take 21.36 years for $1 million to become $2 million. So I think that's interesting that no matter how much money you start with, it's going to take you the same amount for your money to double. Okay, so let's look at the last example. County Savings offers a savings account that earns 2.2% compounded continuously. So this time, we're going to use the PERT formula, and we want to know this time how long it's going to take for the money to triple. So again, A equals P e to the RT this time. We don't know A, we don't know P. We know the interest rate is 0 0.022 as a decimal, and the trick is we want it to triple. Remember what the trick is? You just pick the number you want. So if I won't have uh, $100 to start and I want to know how long it's going to take to, for it to be triple, which would be $300, I'm going to goal seek that. So T, A of T, put in the formula, equals 100 times EXP. Remember, you don't need the caret key, 0 0.022 times T. And I want to goal seek, I want it to triple, so I want that 100 to become 300. So data, what if analysis, goal seek, we want to turn cell three, uh, C39 to $300, and we want to find out how long that's going to take. And it is going to take 49.94 years for your money to triple.